Do you know that feeling when you wash your car real good, give it a nice detailing? It just jives better after that. It goes smoother. No? I do. Yes, you have to learn these bar chords. And no, they are not that difficult. Yes, you're gonna need them. And no, you cannot be a good guitar player without them. No matter what kind of guitar you take, even a ukulele, you're gonna need those bar chords sooner or later. They seem to be more difficult to play, and actually they are a little bit more difficult to play because of one simple thing, muscle power. Because of that pinching action, when your index finger and a thumb acts like a capo, you need more isolated muscle power right here in your hand and somewhere in the forearm, as well as the pinky. Pinky is going to be used in all the bar chords, pretty much all of them. And this is the weakest finger and actually most of the time is slacking while playing the open chords. But those muscles can be trained. Now only for those who don't know, the bar chords are nothing but some well-known open chords played anywhere on the fretboard. Let me show you what I'm talking about with the help of capo. This is an E major chord. This is like a bassiest and lowest sounding chord on the guitar because of that root note. That's the lowest note on the guitar. It's an open six string. The next key on the scale would be F, would be next bassiest sounding chord on a guitar. And uh, most people will learn F as a first bar chord. And how it's made. This is the same E chord. Move one fret up. And let's say we'll take a capo and shorten that fretboard by one fret. This is an F. So what happens? Your index finger acts like a capo and these three fingers play the E major chord. We can play F as an open chord like this. But even in this situation, you have to bar first two strings with your first finger and then, and then your root note will be this octave higher F. Hear the difference? This chord is much bassier. And this is the situation where frustration comes because Those strings don't always sound when you bar them. So the first exercise I would recommend is just to use that finger and bar the strings. Don't place it flat, but rather a little bit at an angle, I can say 45 degrees. You should find that sweet spot and when the other fingers will go on the strings to play a chord the index finger will get its uh, natural position by itself. Here is the second exercise to train the other three fingers and at the same time fake that bar chord. So we play the E major chord with these three fingers. <laughs> And what else we're gonna do? We're gonna place that index finger here on the strings, right behind the nut. So we get the feeling of what the bar chord is while faking it. To make this exercise more useful and more interesting, I recommend you to play three more chords, so four in total. Let's start with the A minor. and go one string up, it could be E major. Then you lift the middle finger and it's E minor. 
and then we'll take A major. Those will be four most common and basic bar chords played anywhere on a fretboard. So I would go back to the other exercise and do it again. The other exercise. And then when we're ready, so we'll take that fake E major chord one more time. And move it one fret up. It sounds nice, isn't it? If not, don't worry. Few more exercises, do that again, and you will get there. Let me give you a few tips while learning the bar chords. Move away from the first fret. The string tension there is highest. Go to the third fret, fourth, fifth, find a sweet spot, practice all the chords that I showed you. Make sure you use the soft strings. Get yourself a light or extra light set, or even a silk steel set of strings, which are designed for folk guitar. And uh, they, they sound pretty good and they seem to be a little softer to your hand, to your finger. Whatever strings you use, if it's still hard for you to play, tune your guitar tone or two down. Make them softer. Learn the chords, practice, train your hand, go back to the normal tuning. If you haven't access to a classic or electric guitar, try those as well. Their action is softer than the regular steel string acoustic guitar. And the last but not least, get yourself one of those hand grips. This thing is amazing. It's a little fitness machine for your hand, for your fingers, for your arm. I use it all the time, you know. There's a bunch of exercises for guitar players on their website. I will include all these links in the description below. One more thing I have to tell you that I'm not making any money by recommending all these things. I do so because I do truly believe that they help. And of course, my channel is too small to make any money yet. So if you like the content, please consider subscribing. Help me to bring you more useful videos in the future. Thank you and happy barring.